I wanted to get away from the music scene uh, because uh, it was pretty traumatic for me to experience uh, not music but the music business in such a young age. Um, so I just wanted to be a regular person again. I was like 22 after three albums and I was really overwhelmed and I was kind of fed up with everything. So I just moved away and trying to become a regular person in Brooklyn. New York and uh, Brooklyn and Queens, wherever, like, like the five boroughs, it's like a whole different world as opposed to the world that I grew up in. But it's really, really influential world, really artistic world, but hard, it's a hard knock life over there. I didn't do music at all for the first two years, and then I went to, um, I took a one-year course of uh, uh, music engineering and uh, music business, business a little bit, and then I did my internship at uh, Def Jam Records for about like six, seven months or so and came back to Israel for two years and went back to New York for another six years or so. And then I started just making uh, uh, hip-hop production, just making hip-hop beats for like five years or so. We know you well That sweet smile Will you turn to hell as far as I was concerned, I was really um, satisfied, you know, just to be in the background. I was extremely satisfied, but like in almost, like after eight years or so, it just came up in like, you know, in one second. I just wanted to go back to like, we record songs and perform again. like um, a few shows together, just getting the band back together for a second, and it worked out pretty good. And then we decided we're gonna give it a try, not on a very, you know, pretty much in a keep it on the down low attitude for a second. And we came up with new songs, and then we recorded a new album, and it's like, we never stopped ever. If someday I'll be able to move again, I would probably try to sit on this bed. And then I'll try to stand. Then I would try to run, and the truth is, I hope I'll fall down so the pain of my body hitting the hard floor would make me feel again. I Basically, like in a matter of uh, four days, I was uh, gradually, I lost uh, every ability to move uh, any parts of my body and I was uh, diagnosed with a syndrome named Guillain-Barre, which left me paralyzed from head to toe for a period of time of uh, eight months or so. One plastic tube, which was hooked up from my nose to my belly, was the source of the vitamins that my body needed and was my only connection to the outside world. Yeah, and, uh, and f 
from the hospital, they took you to a rehabilitation center, which over there, you, we were taught how to stand, walk, talk, drink, everything from scratch. And through that period of time, I wrote like, on, on that period of time, I just wrote like different diaries that like, you know, talking about like a period of, uh, you know, different type of uh, moods that I went through. And on that, I wrote a whole album, which called Sorrow Demons, Joy Blizzards. Sorrow Demons, Joy Blizzards is the name of the album. It's the name of the show. It's a string of thoughts, diaries, and vows that are going through a mind of a person that cannot move any part of his body. Sorrow Demons, Joy Blizzards is my story. It's a story that was written with blood. We are